Today we're going to talk about our model train switch controller. If you look at what we have on the table in front of us, we have several switches. We have an American Flyer switch, we also have an HO Atlas snap switch. This is our switch controller here. If we quickly look at that, you can see that the wires from the switches are attached to the switch controller with screw type terminals. We have holes in the bottom of the box so that the wires can go down into your layout and underneath and up to your switches. If we put the cover back on, notice there's a hole here for the infrared sensor for the remote and there's a hole here for the LED, which I'll explain shortly. We also have a power supply here and it connects to our switch controller here. If we pick up our Sony remote, and I say Sony because our switch controller understands Sony remote codes. We'll notice that the switch controller is connected to two switches. If you had an additional two switches, you would need a second switch controller. The way these switch controllers are numbered, this is number zero, and the other switch controller, if you had two additional switches, would be numbered one. So if we look at how the Sony remote interacts with the switch controller, if you press zero, and zero, remember, is the address of this switch controller, the switch controller will come on, and if you press channel up, the switch will switch one way, if you press zero again and press channel down, it will switch the other way. Likewise, if we press zero again and we want to talk to the Atlas snap switch, we use the volume up and volume down. So if we press the volume up, the switch will switch one way, if we press the volume down, the switch will switch the other way. We also have a second remote here, and this is an RCA universal remote, and we've programmed it for Sony TVs. So likewise, when we use this remote, it's the same idea. If you press a zero, the switch controller will the LED will come on. If you press channel up, it will switch one way. Press zero again, channel down, switch the other way. And likewise, with the Atlas snap switch, up will switch the switch one way, and then volume down will switch it the other way. The reason that we have two different switches, we have an American Flyer switch, and we also have an Atlas switch. The American Flyer switches consume enormous amounts of current. This switch will consume 10 amps of current when it switches, as compared to our Atlas switch, which only consumes 2 amps of current. The purpose of all this is to just show you that our switch controller is able to talk to the American Flyer switch or the Atlas switch. It will even work with Lionel switches.